This is a story about passion. The point is, in this video we talk about a man who went from winning the biggest trophies in club football with Real Madrid to being a fisherman. Now, you might be asking yourself, how did he go from playing with the best footballers in the world to catching fish with old men? Well, join us to find out how that happened as we take you through the story of the man, the former Portuguese left-back Fabio Contral. Contral was born in 1988 in Villa de Condo in Portugal. This was a small town and, well, it was also what you would describe as a poor one. In this town, the main occupation of the residents was fishing and, well, needless to say that his father was also a fisherman. It was in this same town that he spent his childhood and, at the age of 13, his family moved to another country. Now, usually when families relocate, you'd expect them to take all their children along. But surprisingly, that wasn't the case for him, as they left him behind in Portugal to stay with his aunt. Now, we understand if you wish to judge his parents at this point, but they really didn't mean any harm. Matter of fact, they only left him behind because he was already at the academy of Rio Ave, a football club in his hometown. And well, they felt it was better for him to stay behind, as they believed he would turn out to be a great footballer. That decision finally paid off a few years later in 2005 as he finally played his first game for the club. However, two years later, he was off to Benfica where he linked up with players like Angel Di Maria and David Luiz. Then, four years after joining Benfica, he moved on to Real Madrid in 2011. His time at the club started well and he even played a key role in that famous La Decima win in 2014. But it all went downhill from that point as he started battling with injuries. Now, at this point, it would be interesting to note that Contral spent seven years in total as a Madrid player. Officially, however, in that time, he played only 106 games in total for the club. This was because he spent a huge part of the time either injured or out on loan. The final of those loan spells was at Sporting Lisbon in the 2017-18 season. And it was towards the end of that loan spell that the Sporting Lisbon players and staff were attacked by their own fans who believed the club had failed in that season. Now, after leaving Lisbon at the end of that season, he was now faced with a tough decision. Was he to stay at Madrid and risk being left on the bench, or was he to find a new club where he could get playing time? Well, your guess is as good as ours. He opted to finally leave Madrid and sign permanently for his hometown club, the same club where he started his career, Rio Ave BC. Now, we think that all through his years of playing football at the biggest stage, he still dreamt of becoming a fisherman. And after two years of being so close to home, he finally decided to call it quits with football at the age of 34 in order to pursue that dream. Just to tell you how serious he had always been about it, he had already bought his first boat while he was at Madrid, and now he's gone on to buy even more boats and also employs dozens of people. Well, we know it may not earn him hundreds of thousands every week like football, but he is very much happy in this new career. And really, isn't that all that matters? Okay, in one more interesting twist, it appears that football and fishing aren't the only things he's able to do. Here's what we mean. Once upon a time, while on holiday, he received a distress call that a small fishing ship nearby had crashed and was sinking. Unfortunately, that ship had no lifeboats, so the crew members on board were at risk of drowning. On hearing this news, he directed some of his men to go find that ship and rescue the men, and they did just that, thereby saving the entire crew. So he really went from fisherman to superhero real quick. Guess now we wouldn't be so wrong to call him the Aquaman. Well, now that you've heard all of that, do you think that he should have kept playing for a little longer? Do you believe he made the right choices? Do share your thoughts with us in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up as well. And for more cool videos like this one, do subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications. We'll catch you next time. Bye.